still? Uh -oh. Arya. Arya? Isn't that the person that Avakir guy was... Shh. Why but are you... Why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. And you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else. You're just a coward! Just like Murphy. <laughs> A beep? <laughs> Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first and may not be my last. I will say no more. You said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the Crown Contest and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Go, Halim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Well. I feel guilty about fleeing when there are kids out there fighting. There's no need to worry about them. They come from a higher ranking family than ours. That makes their astral arts stronger than ours. They're simply fulfilling their duty to society as members of the ruling elite. The elite. The, the elite. I know, but it still doesn't sit right with me. Orange gel. Whoa. Whoa! He's throwing fire breath, apparently. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Civilian park zone. Hmm. Oh boy. Looks like there's a thing here. An in dealio mother beeper kind of thing. Uh, 
place is pretty big. Is it hot? This is crazy. How long is this going to keep on? Nah, eh, maybe about four hours. I don't know. Normally we would have had orders from the top brass informing all the separate classes what they need to do. I doubt that's happening. The whole chain of command in the city seems like it's broken down. Nobody knows what's happening. That doesn't mean someone somewhere isn't watching our every move. For now, we should see if there's anyone higher ranking around here. Maybe they'll have an idea about what we should be doing. Oh boy. Something over here. Tofu! Random tofu. <laughs> well, okay then. The feeding pen is the feeding pen in bad shape. Who knows how many people have died is in bad shape, it should be. What happened to the Zoogles? Don't tell me they broke out. No. Luckily we were able to seal them off before they got too far. Not that it does much good when they've escaped in other districts, too. If I had to guess, I'd say there were a lot of Zoogles running loose throughout Lenigus. Uh, excuse me. And there are a lot more of them than us, too. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? All our best soldiers are stationed down in Dana. Fantasy Star style. Bum, 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 bum. Oh boy. You've got a water hose! <laughs> cool. Those little animations do look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. How you doing? Doing alright, man? There's more of it. Da -da 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 -da. It doesn't seem to be working on those fires, like, at all. I'm just saying. Does not seem to be working. Oh boy. Now we're inside something. We're in, dude. We're in like Jerry Flynn. Ah, I jumped into a cutscene. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah. It must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it, is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Mm. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. As well as Faria's betrothed. <laughs> mm. Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. Violins! Now oh, that's epic. A friendship based on mutual respect and a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Definitely. Besides, 
It was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less. She would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other Lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Alfin. Yeah? I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. But I still wanted to say thank you. Do 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 if things don't calm down soon, don't you think we should board a starship so we can evacuate? We can't. You need to have the Sovereign's permission to enter a starship or anything other, other than the Crown Contest. Well, where's the Sovereign? Why isn't he here to lead us in our time of need? You tell him. If the rumors are to be believed, it's not just Zoogles who are out of control. Apparently, a group of armored soldiers have started to rebel, too. Oh, boy. For all we know, we may be seeing the start of some kind of uprising. Don't you think so? Don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? That's absurd. Who could possibly plot such a conspiracy and think they could get away with it? 
True. If you rebel against the Sovereign, you're rebelling against the entire Renan civilization. It's hard to say one way or another. Nothing like this has ever happened in the history of Lenicus. We all know too little. Hmm. Love that violin in this song, though. Sounds so good. Hmm. I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. Hmm. Interesting. Do my eyes deceive me, or has my shop been blessed with Lord Doalim and his servants? Is there anything I can help you with, my lord? <laughs> well, that's kind of a thing. We got new stuff, Diamond Cape. Cape lined with diamonds, extremely rare. Diamond Guard. Of course, uh, Law's the only one with the diamond equipment already, because that we got at the arena. Not as good for you. Diamond One Piece. Diamond Mail. I think it's good in some ways. Otherwise, not so much. Oh, you can buy treats and heavy treats now. I would definitely recommend doing that if you have the money to do so. It's very expensive, but... We have them. We have the meats! Okay. Forge weapons. Oh, we got a new weapon. Gladius Wren. Gladius Rene. A sword made with Lenigus technology. Cutting edge Renan technology was used while developing it to feel good to hold in, in anybody's hand. Rending Titan Fang and Mantid Claw. It's actually better. It looks pretty sweet. We got new. Uh, and we, man, like all the new stuff we can make, it would seem. Pink Protector. <laughs> a cat shield with a lovely pink coating. The only one that, that can get through its otherwise impregnable defenses is, is its lover, the Feline Bastion. Meh. Mystical Luminicore, Spirit Tail. Scootum, Renee. Ooh. A shield made with Lanagus's technology. Every aspect, including its appearance, has been carefully designed to optimize its defensive capabilities. I wonder if this is like the best equipment in the game. Indomitable Gargantua Bone and Mantid Claw. Yeah. Oh, we, we actually can't make this. Because we, we need Dark Man. Oh, we can make this. A rod made with Lenigus' technology. It's built to be as lightweight as physically possible without sacrificing any of its strength. Sticky tentacle, megafauna bone, and mantid claw. Yeah. Oh, we can't make hers. God damn it. But we can make a soul shot. Jeez, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> a famous cannon, which is cannon that belonged to a man thought to be immortal. Most who try to fire it themselves are bound to be blown back by its recoil. Well, look at the size of that thing! Spirit Tail, Megafauna Bone, and Mantid Claw. Can't make Sglotum Rene, because we need Dark Mane. Yeah. Gauntlet, Sastus Rene. Gauntlets made with Lenigus' technology. Extensive testing and calculations during the R&D stage have yielded gauntlets that are light yet tough. Indomitable Gargantua Bone and Mantid Claw. That's expensive. But worth it! I bet Illinois Pranksters will try to steal it. 
No doubt about that. Can't make that. We can make this, though it's not as good, but Radiant Light Part 3. A story about a young girl and boy who go on a journey in search of light. The protagonist saga ends with a dramatic, unbelievable conclusion. Radiant Light Part 2 and Mystical Lumina Core. Still not as good as that blazing book that we got. But that's okay. We can't make Historia Renee, which still wouldn't be as good. <laughs> if you can believe that, we need Dark Man. Man, that like blazing book that we got is like it's like the ultimate weapon, it would seem. This will manage the ranch while we're here. Like whatever the beep. Sheep. Horse. Chicken. Pig. Atma! You're such a pig, you know that? Damn right you are. Good luck, my lord. We, the citizens, are all confident that you shall do everything in your power to make a quick end to this crisis. Did we really just spend that much money? We sure did. And it was awesome. Gladius, Renee. Attack up by 27, elemental attack up by 29, penetration up by 28. Diamond males. De defense goes down by 5, elemental defense up by 24, resistance down by 7. So that's kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And such. Yeah, yeah, it's a badass looking sword, my dude. Pink protector. Meh. Look at that SOB. Yeah! And Scutum Rene. Attack up by 51, elemental attack up by 46, penetration up by 52. Woo! Look at that bad Johnny. Diamond Guard, not as good. Seduces Rene. Attack up by 67, elemental attack up by 67, penetration up by 65. Diamond Cape is better. Defensive by 22, elemental defensive by 51, resistance by 18. Yeah! Oh yeah! Mario time! Assault shot. Attack up by 16, elemental attack up by 23, penetration up by 40. I'm a man! I'm 40! Defensive by 20, elemental defensive by 51, resistance by 20. Look at the size of that cannon. Sh sh she's got a cannon! Look at that thing, it's crazy! That thing is so cannon. Sextus Rene, attack up by 33, elemental attack up by 30, penetration up by 34. Yeah. Kja! Da na na na. Nothing new for you. Well, that, but it's not as good. Because apparently nothing is. Apparently that 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 burning book thing is like the best weapon I ever made. Burning blood. There it is. Diamond cloak, not as good. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Fast travel point added. Goodness, I never expected to be graced by Lord Dolim and his companions. If there's anything I can do for you all, please, by all means. You can rest, although we don't really need to. I guess we will anyway. Kind of want to keep that one that we had, so it doesn't really matter. Let's move along, shall we? I I Illinois style.